What's up guys, how's everyone doing? Today, I'm gonna go over with you how to set up your Amazon seller account in 2022. So let's get into it. First thing you're gonna do is go to Google and type in Amazon Seller Central. It's gonna be the first link, you'll click that. So this is the page you wanna be on um, to sign up to become an Amazon seller. As you guys can see in the fine print here, there, it says $39.99 a month plus selling fees. That's called a professional seller account. Um, I do recommend that you guys get that professional seller, especially starting off. When you're trying to run a six figure business through Amazon, you do not wanna pay a lot of fees uh, once you start to drive a lot of volume. So I think it's personally worth it, but there is an option to opt out of that. But let's move forward with this video. First thing you can do is click sign up. Here, you're gonna click create your Amazon account. And it's gonna ask for your name. So I'm gonna say a basic uh, John Doe. I'm gonna say that for now. So you just follow the directions here. Next is asking for your email. So I'm gonna put my email. It's gonna ask for a password for the Amazon login. So I'm gonna put a basic one just for now. After you input your email and your name, um, you're gonna receive an OTP from Amazon. That's gonna be sent to your email. So to proceed to the next steps, you're gonna go to your Gmail or your email, wherever that is, and find that OTP code. So I just got that email confirmation, so let me input it here. All right, so after you input the OTP code, it's gonna direct you to this page. Now, this is, this is the page, it's gonna ask you for your business location. So I'm from United States, um, and probably a majority of you, you guys watching this video are in the same boat as me, so you're gonna click United States. If you're in another location, go ahead and click that. Um, so moving on to the next step, it's gonna ask for your business type. Now, I personally recommend that you do open up an LLC for this, for tax purposes, for security, um, for liability, creating an LLC for this business will save you a lot on taxes when tax season does come around. Now, when you select business type, it's gonna ask if you're state owned, publicly listed, or privately owned. A majority of you will be a privately owned business. Now, if you guys do not wanna open up LLC for this, you can just click on none. I am an individual, but since I do have an LLC, I'm gonna be considered a privately owned business. Click on that. It's gonna give you a little warning here to make sure that whatever business name you put in um, is correct because you cannot change that your LLC name or whatever you put input in. You cannot change this LLC name later, so. Let me just input that now. Okay. okay, next step is gonna ask for your company registration number. In this, um, in other words, a company registration number is your EIN number. So I have my EIN number. You can usually find this on, um, when you receive an LLC, you apply for an EIN, and that EIN letter that you get will show your um, EIN number. So you just put that in here. Now it's gonna ask for your address, um, which is make sure that whatever address you put is uh, the address associated with your LLC. After you put in your address, it's gonna, you can press this little button that says I confirm my address is correct. I understand this information cannot be changed later. Then it's gonna ask for your phone number. So make sure your number is uh, a number you have access to because you do have to send the SMS number to that phone number to receive a code. Okay. So here, I'm just gonna, primary contact person, you can just, you put your name. For educational purposes, I'm just gonna put John Doe again. So it's gonna ask you for your country of citizenship. Again, I'm in the United States, so I'll click on that. Um, ask for your country of birth, again, United States. And then it's gonna ask for your birthday. So usually they verify this. Towards the end, you're gonna see why. They're gonna verify this using, um, because you have to submit a copy of your passport or your driver license. A lot of people just support the, so submitted a copy of their passport. Again, for educational purposes, I'm just using um, random numbers just to take you guys along the process. Country of issue, again, United States or wherever you guys are applying for the account from. Okay. Now it's gonna ask you, okay, are you the beneficial owner of the business? Um, you have to click yes. You have to click if you're a legal representative of the business, yes. You have added all the beneficial beneficiary owners of the business, yes. And you press this little check mark to confirm, press save. Okay, so the next step, step three for your Amazon seller account, you do need to go through the billing process. Now this, this part, you do have to input your banking info, um, your account and routing number. So when you're selling on Amazon, all your sales will be deposited into your bank account. So this is why you, they need your account number, your routing number, um, and all the information. 
Um, you will need to submit a bank statement at the end too to verify so that they make sure the bank account is real. Um, you'll also need a credit card on file. So this is very important, it does have to be a credit card. They usually only accept credit cards because again, remember when I mentioned that $40 subscription, they do charge a credit card every month, $40 as a professional seller on Amazon. When you get to this page, just click I understand. Whatever your bank you go with, you click on here. I usually bank with Chase. So the bank account holder name, um, usually it, if it's in your name or the LLC name, just uh, click the one that applies to you. So in my particular case, I'm gonna use um, the LLC bank account. Okay, so the bank account verification is pending now. Um, you should be on the lookout, check your bank to make sure if something comes through there, you they need this for your verification, but um, really the verification is at the end where you submit your bank statement. You press continue on this page. So they're gonna ask for a credit card number. Remember, this is very important. This is gonna. This is the number they're gonna use to be charging your uh, professional seller account. Any any fees you do need to pay to Amazon too, they will be using credit card number on file. After you put your credit card number, you click next. All right. Now, when you get to step four, you're almost done. Um, this is gonna. You're gonna need to enter your store name. So this can be really um, anything you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put you know, capital ecom. Um, if that's available, but I'll just leave it at that, capital Ecom. Now, next question is, do you have uh, UPCs for all your products? If you're starting out, usually the answer is gonna be no because you don't have anything yet. And of course, capital Ecom is not available, so I'm gonna put something different like capital Ecom deals. If that's available, give me that green check mark. All right, there we go, so it's available. Um, and you can change this later, so honestly, this doesn't really matter. Um, next question, do you have any diversity uh, certifications? Um, minority, woman, veteran, or LGBT owned business? Um, usually the answer here is no. Um, third question, are you the manufacturer, brand owner, uh, or agent representative of the brand for any products you wanna sell on Amazon? So this part, this is talking about private label. Um, if you don't know what private label is, then pretty much the answer is also gonna be no here. You click next. Okay, so you get to the last step. When you get to this step, you're pretty much done. Um, it's gonna give you a little bit of recap of everything you put, you know, your name, your date of birth where you're from, um, what you're gonna be using for identity. So a lot of people will be uploading that um, driver license. So make sure you put the driver license number right, expiration date, everything you put. After that, you're gonna upload a picture of your ID, both front and back, um, your residential address that you put. Make sure, make sure 100% that this is your address because what Amazon is gonna do is they're gonna send you a postcard to that address and you need to be able to have mailing access to get that number. They do this because remember when I said before, there is a lot of scammers on Amazon and um, they wanna make sure you're a real person running that LLC. Um, the next step is you can either upload a bank account or a credit card statement. Um, again, just confirming that the account and routing number you input in into the platform is correct um, so that there's no discrepancies when it comes time to pay out your sales or to collect fees for that professional seller account. The business address that you inputted, make sure that it's 100% the LLC address that's incorporated with the LLC you created. Uh, make sure your business name is spelled correctly as well as that EIN number that you inputted before. So that's it guys. After you're done with this step, um, you just press submit and Sometimes Amazon will be asking for a video verification call where an Amazon rep will hop on a call with you and all you have to do is kind of answer a couple questions to make sure you're legitimate, hold your picture ID up to your face. After that call, they also send you that postcard. Once you receive that postcard, input the number that's on it um, into the system and after that, your account should be all set and ready to go. So that's it guys, that's all you need to start setting up your Amazon account. So a little bit of recap here, uh, make sure that you open up an LLC for this, you have that EIN number, you have a copy of your or, uh, driver license um, as well as that bank statement that's also very important make sure that the address that you put when you in the application is somewhere that you have access to the mailing it could be your residence or your business wherever that may be make sure you get so you can receive that postcard to complete the all the steps of your Amazon seller account so this process could take about one to two weeks um, from start to finish of going live in your Amazon account so this is the standard time about one to two weeks that I would say um, if you do have certain discrepancies that you do have to correct or fix Amazon definitely will let you know um, let's say something's wrong with your driver license or a bank statement's not working they will you they will reach out
out to you and tell you you need to send another statement. So uh, on average, if you're on top of everything, about one to two weeks before your seller account goes live, you can start selling on the platform. That's it for this video, guys. Drop a like if you found it helpful. Comment down below if you have any questions about the registration process, and I will get back to them when I can. Subscribe to our channel for more e-commerce related topics. If you guys wanna learn more about how to set up your own Amazon automated store, where we help you through the whole process and run your store for you, click the link to watch the next video, or click the link in the description to book a call with me. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.